Well, it's just gone 1,500 GMT, and we start this news hour with breaking news from Russian-controlled Crimea. Moscow says Ukrainian missiles have targeted the headquarters of the Black Sea Fleet in the peninsula. It said Russian air defense systems shot down five missiles during the attack in Sevastopol. But black smoke has been seen billowing from the base. Crimea's Russian-backed governor has urged civilians to remain indoors and stay away from the city center until further notice. In recent weeks, Ukraine has stepped up its attacks on Russia's navy. Yulia Shapovalova is standing by in Moscow, but first let's talk to Zain Basravi. He's live for us in Kiev. So first of all, Zain, how significant are these attacks in analyzing how Ukraine's military abilities are evolving? Well, Sammy, just before I get into that, a bit of developing news from Sevastopol. In the last 20 or 30 minutes, we've heard of a second set of explosions, or at least one loud explosion from Sevastopol. These reports coming out. It's unclear whether or not this was an unexploded missile or a new strike. There were reports in the Russian media that there were efforts being made to remove some kind of unexploded ordnance. But in the last half an hour, we have heard of, no of another loud explosion in Sevastopol. Now, as far as technology, you are correct. Technology has been very important in this war right from the beginning. What we're looking at, this attack today, illustrates really how far Ukraine has managed to come in the last year. If you remember last year, there was an effort to carry out a sea drone uh, attack on Sevastopol. Now, that was unsuccessful when Elon Musk turned off Starlink. That's been widely reported. That did uh, raise the alarm bells here in Kyiv. The Pentagon's since then taking over uh, the implementation of Starlink-related operations here in Ukraine. And now we're seeing a very successful, by Ukrainian accounts, a very successful attack today with a variety of missiles. Now, there are reports that drones were used, that the uh, land-to-sea Neptune missile that Ukraine develops in country was modified in some way and used during this attack. We've also heard reports that the British French storm shadow missiles were a part of this operation. Exactly what has happened, exactly how many were fired, how many were shot down, that's something that military bloggers from both sides of this conflict are still debating. But what both sides agree on is that the headquarters of the Black Sea Fleet was indeed hit. Images showing a great deal of destruction to that very important landmark, the Black Sea Fleet being the main thrust of military operations in Ukraine since the Russian invasion, and this will no doubt be seen as a major hit uh, for uh, the Russians operating out of Sevastopol. Now, in terms of technological advancement, Ukraine, Ukrainian operations that have been going on across the country, but specifically on the Crimean Peninsula in the last two weeks, the last 30 days, do show an uptick in their capability to be able to take the fight to Russian positions. And it goes along with something that President Volodymyr Zelensky said even before he left for the UN General Assembly in New York. He said, man to man, the Russians do outnumber the Ukrainians, but technological advancement, technological help from its allies will help Ukraine turn the tide. And that seems to be what we are seeing out of these attacks today. All right, good stuff there. Let's thank Zain Basravi. Let's continue this, though, with Yulia Shapovalova. She's live for us in Moscow. So what are Russian officials saying about just how damaging this attack was? Well, according to official reports, the Ukrainian armed forces launched a missile attack on the headquarters of the Russian Black Sea Fleet, Russia's or pressures at it. We can say, according to the Ministry of Defense, in total, five missiles were shot down by air defense systems uh, during the repelling of the attack. Uh, one soldier went missing. Uh, the civilian infrastructure around the headquarters building and the people on the streets were not harmed. Uh, the police cordoned off the territory around the headquarters. Uh, the debris from the strike was scattered over hundreds of meters there, and now the fragments of the downed missiles are being collected. Uh, firefighters are also uh, still ext extinguishing the fire there, and uh, emergency ministry officers are working on this spot. Uh, law enforcement officials have asked local residents to avoid the central streets of Sevastopol. The shockwave of a missile attack shattered windows in 10 residential buildings. So that's what the situation there looks like. After after Russia's uh, Black Sea Fleet headquarters have been targeted. All right, thanks so much, Julia Shapovalova there.